I'm Dan Barry and I work for Janet, which is part of the JISC group. I think it's very difficult for organisations in the sector to get a full picture of their IT costs. I think what we're trying to do with the X-ray service and what others around this workshop are doing are trying to get indicative costs and get approximations. They're trying to point and build a discussion so people can see where their costs are. More importantly, where their costs are out of line with other organisations. So where can they add value in what they spend rather than just be spending indiscriminately? Um, for the financial x-ray, it's been quite uh, interesting collecting some of these costs. Um, we work very well with the finance teams and the IT teams. And that kind of relationship is really vital to, to actually get under the covers and find what those costs are. But our approach is to get the figures from sets of management accounts and then to work with the IT director to see where the staff costs are on that, to apportion the various costs. And by trying to set these to, I think we've got about 46, 48 standardised um, groupings for this, it gives a good level of um, comparability in this. It allows people to have a proper discussion with, both with, within an organisation and between them. I think the sector's got some real choices to make on how IT provision works. Just trying to compare like with like, so understanding when you need to have a, a, a service that's done in-house versus in the cloud, is going to be different for each organisation. So if I have a real value and I say my differentiator is this service, I may want to keep it in one way. Other things, like email, comparative no-brainer, put it out to the cloud, as long as you make sure that you're happy with the risks you're taking, that's all good. So I think there, there are a lot of options there, but there are also options that are wider. Trying to get in depth and actually say, right, how does this really work and add value? So how does this work with um, the feedback I'm getting through social media? How does, this, um, how does my investment on student services tally with what I'm hearing through Twitter? How does this look in terms of my profile, my reputation and my rankings? There's a real kind of bit of work which currently hasn't been done yet.